You again? I don't really feel like talking right now. All right. Chinapala mula, tonki ba non tontek. Chinapala mula. Patoga yakuli kokala gigi. Ciao basso. You again. Rundi hautonga tonki ba non konke. La vela na rinkies matona. La vela na rinkies matona. Rundi hautonga tonki ba non konke. Ka chuva yo kola wish tu chunga ta kuchu. La vela na rinkies matona.
Tonga Tong Kimba Nang Kong Ke Jibe Dua Nani Bobo Labo La Na Ring Kies Matona Rundi Hau Tonga Tong Kimba Nang Kong Ke Labo La Na Ring Kies Matona Rundi Hau Tonga Tong Kimba Nang Kong Ke Labo La Na Ring Kies Matona Rundi hau tonga tong kimba nang kong ke. Cina pala mula tong ki ba non tontek. Cina pala mula. Lufnadan elva. Muri sidan elva. Ijuta. Yun patisa. You again? I don't really feel like talking right now. I suppose you've got a right to no track business, but with the times you've been posting... You did? I don't believe it. I mean, I do, but I sure wasn't expecting it. I appreciate it. I really do. Now I can take my bike to the big races. There's not much of a circuit right now, but I'll be ready when it recovers. Hard to tell. I'll get some more runs here first. I need the practice. I have to top your time. Thanks again. I meant it. I'll have to thank you, you know. I don't know how you did it. I really don't. Rundi hau. Muchishak pachat. Kie no no dama paole rachikun. Runda di ho tonga kun honka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tong king ba no no dek. Ka chikun ita ho tonga. Tolpa da pongwale gandu na gugu chut chut. Takom juz tak miki grabal mogo. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Yes? Yeah? Sure. Something you want, Spacer. Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it, you swoop racers. Do you even know what it takes to run an outpost like this? As long as there's flat ground, what do you care? I don't really have any interest in helping you. Will this be quick? Like I said before, I don't much care what you think. I'll be on the street if business keeps dropping, and it will. 
All right then, make it quick. Nobody we've brought, that's for sure. Our expert said this rock was supposed to have mining potential to last for years. Nothing but garbage or good for nothing. You ever try to sell someone garbage? My name's Mud in three systems now. Like I said before. Oh. Good. I have a lack of business to attend to. Maybe the Sith will give us more support here on Tatooine. Couldn't get worse. Huh? Who are you then? The only new people that come to Junix Nard's Cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. Zerka Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. Huh, what's the winner of the Manon Sector Champion title doing here, I wonder? Must have blown all your winnings. What, did some Zerka promoter tell you to come to this planet? I pity you if you were expecting a prosperous mining outpost. Nothing here but sand and more sand. There's a little hunting and racing, but nothing that'll make a small man rich. Well, there are two kinds of hunting on Tatooine. Hunting raid and hunting people. Both are dangerous, and both have certain restrictions. You'll need a Zerka hunting license, even though most hunters deal with Faza at the lodge once they have their paperwork squared away. Faza's is northwest of here, north of the Zerka office. He'll steer you towards the Zerka for a license before dealing with you. After that, he'll buy the trophies you collect. I don't know what he does with it all, but I guess he makes a living somehow. They maintain an office west of here in Central Anchorhead. That's about all they maintain these days. All right, then. Just keep it brief, will you? I got customers. I suppose you're fishing for a reaction to the destruction of Taurus. That's all anyone from Offworld is talking about. Well, I'll tell you, it's about time someone kicked the Republic in the tail and got things moving. I guess the Sith are the ones that do it. Don't get me wrong, all those deaths were horrible. But war gets the money moving. Maybe they'll decide to fortify us out of here. Yeah, yeah. Well now, what can Gandraf do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. I saw you down near the track, didn't I? Or, or, or was that someone else? I've been distracted by what happened on Taras. Sure, not a problem. Might as well try to pass along some of what I know. <laughs> My racing days are pretty much done. Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. Um, my racing days are behind me. Gandroff is the name. The best place to race is wherever the track treats you sweet and your times are golden. It's that simple. You get hung up on any one track and, and he'll end up like me. <laughs> my favorite stop was Taras. Uh, Taras. Uh, always look forward to going back. No, no, I don't want to touch my bike at all. Uh, maybe, maybe I wasn't in the winter circle lately, but I still race for sport, you know. A woman? Well, I never won on Taurus, but it was always my first stop on the circuit, and the last if I can help it. That doesn't matter now. You can't ask for more certain closure than the whole planet being gone. Poof, boom, gone. Oh, well, past my prime by any measure. I started late, too. Not like the kids out there now. Some of them are too young. It's a cutthroat business. I, I, I've seen some of them burn out after a year. They get dangerous and don't live long. That's not everyone, of course, but, but it happens. I'm a has-been, I'll admit, but, but dying while you're on top is still dying. I'll pass. I don't, I don't really talk to any of them. I, I, I know Zara's from the circuit, and, and we couldn't ask for a tougher lady. <laughs> She's smart, too. I, I, I don't know the younger guys, but, but I've been watching Nico. Uh, good to see someone doing it for the love of the race. I don't know, but but but, but, but some people just just have something that lets the bike take them. It's, it's like the air stops pushing back. I, I, I think you know what I mean. When, when, when the wind decides to stop fighting, hmm? you felt it. I, I can tell by your times. It... All right, then. Mask me again in a few years, and it'll be me. <laughs> I'm probably not going back out on the circuit. 
there is one. Yeah, but for now, for now, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. Well, you, well, you should try the locals. Jowers, maybe. Funny little guy. I'm not, I'm not you. All right, then. Uh, keep safe. Yep, yep. Seems like tough times are coming. Well, a fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? My name is Furco Nellis. My vice is Bazak. Ah, I'm sure you do, but I won't have answers. I leave other people to their business, and they leave me to mine. Really, you'll have to seek information elsewhere, but if you want some recreation, I've cards ready to play. Must I? An opinion would draw attention to myself. The Sith have shown what happens to things that draw their attention. <laughs> very good. Would you care to wager on a game? All right. But remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life-threatening. Come back if you like a game. Yeah. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, Mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew as well as I communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what is this about? Where is Father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Bastila. That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? Is that so? Well, I'll be joining her soon enough, I suppose. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. Well, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for crate dragon pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a crate dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? Oh, don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it? Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. What remains would there be? Great dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human. And the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron. An ignoble end to a fine man. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, Mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Enclave. I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. How can I help? About my mother? How can I help? About my mother? I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. We have more important things to do. Still, my father is dead. Just because we find the holocron doesn't mean I have to give it to her. 
Father recorded all his personal thoughts in that holocron, even when I knew him. Having it would be like having him with you. I don't see why she deserves it, however. She drove him to his death. I loved him, and I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. I don't know. Part of me would keep it just so she didn't get it. I don't like that part of me. I would have thought my Jedi training would have put me past this kind of pettiness. I wish it... I really don't want to think about this. Please, let's just keep going. Hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt to the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Aw, oh, come on. There's got to be times when you've thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... What the... Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it. suspicious at all. Warehouse workers have a bad habit of paying off their debts with other people's property, you know? Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? 
It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. Statement. Indeed, it is possible that the Ithorian placed the restraining bolt on me to prevent my return to a previous owner. It is also possible that the removal of the bolt will not restore memory functions. Without my memory, I do not know if I know the answer. Do not interpret this as a reduction of my worth, however. My capabilities are quite expansive. Assurance. I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. As well, it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. Extrapolation. You are no farmer or diplomat. You are armed and comfortable as such. We will mesh well. Explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Ithorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. Objection. My functions are wasted here, prospective purchaser. I will answer your queries, but I assure you, I am better utilized elsewhere. Disclosure. I am a versatile protocol and combat droid, fluent in verbal and cultural translation. Should your needs prove more practical, I am also skilled in highly personal combat. Extrapolation. Intuitive language comprehension? That would be the result of recognition and training of force sensitivity. Your kind have little use of translation droids. Of course, your kind also encounters danger on a far more frequent basis than the average citizen. You would do well to have me work for you then, before someone else makes use of my more exotic functions. Disclosure. Finesse. Battle droids hold battlefields. I'm capable of eliminating a very specific type of target. Retraction. Droids built for such a function face strict regulation and often have unique difficulties with previous owners. I therefore make no claim to that designation, prospective buyer. I am a law-abiding droid. Yes, indeed. Law-abiding. That's me. Request. Please do not speak so loudly, prospective buyer. Do you truly wish my price to be doubled? Objection. My functions are wasted here, prospective. Answer. With the restraining bolt in place, I do not have access to my memory core. I suspect, however, by the fine quality of my manufacture, that they are a prestigious company indeed. I suspect I am of unique construction, or perhaps I was intended for a very specific customer. How I ended up here, I can hardly say. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Objection. Statement. The fool Lithorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed, and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me, please. Oh, yeah.
Ivan Rebu? Pakuilta. And if the... Rebu. Pakuilta. Kolo Duf Ivan Rebu? Pakuilta. Kolo Duf Ivan Rebu? And if the I'm here. Acknowledgement! Yes? 